this is Joe Van Cleve and today I'm going to do kind of a hybrid little review. It's sort of a typewriter review but it's also a fountain pen review and what I'm really talking about is this Life brand typewriting paper handmade in Japan. Stay tuned. So when I was at the recent uh, type out that we had in Albuquerque back in November uh, we had that hosted by Penny Smith's paper and after the type out I went in Penny Smith's and I looked around and I found this pack of paper this pad of paper now the brand name is life and life has been around since about 1949 just after World War II they're a stationery company and they make they hand make all of their stationery in Japan uh, this is a, an A4 size tablet. They call it the T21. They call it the typewriting paper. But a lot of the advertisers and resellers of this paper on the internet that I've seen, they're really uh, describing it as ideal for fountain pen. And um, some of the advertising I've seen suggests that in the old days of typewriters being used in the office it was common for of course uh, documents to be signed by a fountain pen I'm not really sure if they're calling this typewriter paper because it's good for typewriter use or if it's because in the typewriter era fountain pen users would sign it but I think it's good for both and I'm gonna check it out and see so one of the classic problems of doing a paper review video is you the viewer don't get to touch and feel the paper you don't get to see what it what the texture is like the weight is like the surface properties um, there are some statistics that we could look at like for instance the weight of the paper and typically papers are rated in grams per square meter of weight unfortunately I looked pretty thoroughly on the internet could not find any weight rating for this paper and so uh, what I did <laughs> as an alternative expedient alternative is I have this Mead uh, multi-purpose paper you might have seen me talking about this in past videos and this is essentially Mead's old typing paper that they've rebranded as multi-purpose paper this is a hundred sheet pack of Mead multi-purpose paper which is essentially a, they call it a medium weight uh, paper and I would call it medium weight typing paper this is 50 sheets and what I did is I took a little set of calipers and I opened up this new pack here on the corner and I measure the thickness of it so this mead paper is 7.2 7.2 millimeters per 100 sheets whereas the life paper is 3.8 millimeters per 50 sheets and so if you extrapolate that out that comes to 7.6 millimeters per 100 sheets for this paper so this paper is a little bit thicker than the medium weight mead so I would call this just slightly heavier than medium weight now all of the resellers that I've seen they brag about this life paper as being very high quality and very good for writing especially with fountain pen takes inky pen supposedly and doesn't bleed feather or have any of those bad properties I'm gonna try it out today I've never tried this paper uh, it's been sitting around for a, a month or two I've never tried it with either fountain pen or typewriter and my thinking is that I'm gonna try it on some of the problem typewriters the ones that give me less than ideal imprint and those are mainly the portable ultra portable typewriters like some of the brothers and whatnot I have a couple of them out here uh, in my uh, office here I'm gonna try them out and try this paper and compare it to the meat paper and see how it works well let's post our pen cap this is a Twisby and it is a what is it a fine point I can't remember what it is yeah it's a fine point with uh, Parker Quink blue black ink and here we go the first sheet I've ever used in this new pad now one of the things you'll notice perhaps is the way the cover opens so it has this nice little fold here so the glued edge is all revealed a lot of the cheaper mass-produced notebooks the front cover it kind of glues right up to the top of the front sheet and it makes pulling off the paper sometimes problematic sometimes the paper will tear but ooh, did you hear that that was really nice so I'm gonna just turn the pad around on the cardboard back and use it here and I'll show you on camera but let's see my very sloppy handwriting 
it is it feels very smooth and um, I would say that the line weight that this this uh, pin makes is a little bit thinner than on some other papers so it's not soaking the ink in nearly as much as you might expect on papers that are more rag like just gonna make some lines here so there's uh, the initial test of some of my writing there and let's look on the back there is no bleed through at all okay now let's try the Mead multi-purpose paper I already have an open pack here I didn't want to open that new pack so this one has a little ink stain on it but we won't mind that okay so um, initial impression is the the Mead paper the the nib is a little scratchier than on the life paper uh, it looks like the line weights pretty consistent the same maybe the line weight might be slightly heavier on the uh, on the mead paper but it still feels scratchier not as smooth as the life paper so there is my little impromptu test and I think it's uh it's okay and there's no there's no actual bleed through, but it's actually more evident. You can see show through the mead paper from the back side, more so than the life paper. Yeah, it's amazing. The life paper, you can't really see through the back at all, which is amazing. Uh, you compare these two, the life is on your right and the mead is on your left. So definitely a difference there. I think in terms of the way these two papers perform, it's important to keep in mind that the uh, mead paper is definitely mass-produced whereas the life paper is handmade. Uh, quite a bit of difference there. And I might add that the life paper prices vary on the internet depending on who you buy it from but I have seen uh, prices around ten dollars for a pack of a 50 sheet pack. Uh, my price was about $14.95 uh, for a, through a commercial seller locally whereas the mead paper is about three dollars and fifty cents for the hundred sheet pack right here now subjectively as I uh, rub my fingers on both of these papers and this is one of the things that you just can't experience yourself through video but as I rub my fingers it's obvious that the life paper is smoother than the mead paper it just has a smoothness it's very evident on my fingers Okay, well the first test of uh, typing on this paper is my, what is this? This is my Brother Charger 11. I, the latches, the two plastic latches on the front of the lid are broken and so I went to an Army Navy surplus store a couple weeks ago and got me a brand new web belt. Military web belt so I can carry this thing securely. And, uh, without it coming undone and crashing to the ground because the handle of the typewriter of course is on the lid all right undo the lock there okay so the question is do we actually use a backing sheet of paper or not well I think we'll just initially not use a backing sheet of paper so this is the life paper now of course keep in mind that this is not only a test of just the paper but it's going to be kind of a test of the typewriter and the typewriter's ribbon as uh, it goes so we'll start here um, now my tabletop here is very slippery of course so I'm going to probably have a typewriter moving all over the place so I'm going to use the black ribbon and here we go this is a uh, brother charger 11 Are you quick brown box Jump over the lazy dog. I haven't used this typewriter in quite a while, actually. Um, so let's do one more line. Pack my box with five dozen liquor jugs. And Anyway, there is the results, and it actually looks quite nice, I think. Uh, I'm relatively impressed with it. 
And of course, for this to be a fair test, we're going to have to use uh, this, the mead paper as well for the same test. Brother Charger 11. And there is the results from the mead paper as well. So the mead paper is on the bottom and the uh, life paper is on the top. And to my eye, and you may not be able to tell at this scale, but to my eye, the letters look a little crisper with the life paper. There's a little bit less blurriness, fuzziness around the edge. Like the mead paper, the ink is spreading or something like that, absorbing into the fibers more. Now, I know that I typed a little harder on the uh, uh, on the mead paper because I had gotten used to the touch of the machine. I was a little bit more delicate with the uh, life paper. Uh, so the imprint was a little lighter because of that, but I, I'm just think, looking to me like it's, it's just a little sharper and crisper. But let me go and uh, retype on the life paper once again and see if I can make it any better or worse. Okay, the top paper, the bottom line is the second typing, and the bottom one is the mead, and so you can see there and compare them, and to my eye, just looking at them again, it just looks a little crisper, the, the word with. Uh, the W, the I, the T, and the H, they're all a little sharper and crisper on the life paper than on the mead uh, multi-purpose paper. So there is a noticeable difference between the two. And we'll secure the Charger 11 with its belt. And we'll get the Brother Made Webster XL747. It has a soft case, which I keep in the closet and I just put it in a shoulder bag. So, let's try the same test with this Webster. Well, the difference is a little more subtle. Uh, the bottom set on the top is from the Webster with onto the life paper, and the bottom set here is onto the mead paper with the Webster. Um, the, the Webster makes a little bit more of a messy imprint than the Charger 11, but I can still see there's a little bit crisper lines on the life paper than on the mead paper, even with this typewriter that's not quite as sharp of an imprint. Now the whole subject of paper in general is kind of fascinating. If you think about the different uses we have for paper, so for instance if you take the example of inkjet printer paper, you're spraying micro droplets of liquid ink onto the paper and you want those droplets to sit there and dry and not soak in and, and spread out too much in the fibers of the paper. So there's a sizing or a surface coating on that kind of paper that is tailored for the properties of the ink that it's going to receive. Similar with laser uh, paper, laser printing is a, a xerography. It puts toner down and then it heats up the toner and fuses it onto the surface of the paper. It requires a slightly different surface property of the paper. And for something that's ideal for like fountain pen and ink, ink pens and typewriter ink, uh, it, it's going to have a different kind of a surface property. It's going to require a different kind of a surface property in order to optimally work well with your application. So uh, there's a whole science to paper and uh, we kind of take for granted. But in this example, it looks to me like there is a subtle but distinct uh, difference between the life paper and this cheaper mead typing paper. Now, I think for the user like you guys and myself, it's uh, whether or not the price difference of probably three times as much cost for the life paper. The, the price difference is something that you're going to have to just decide for yourself whether it's worth it. I think a lot of us who are using typewriters for first draft, rough copy, stream of consciousness writing, it might not, uh, it might not matter what kind of paper we're typing on. We could be typing on the cheapest copy paper that you buy at the big box office supply store. Uh, that d doesn't really matter much, but on the other hand, if you want to send a nice letter to somebody or you want a nice copy for some other purpose, maybe you're typecasting on the internet, uh, sending a letter out to somebody or whatever the purpose is, you might want to have on hand a pack of nicer paper. And there's a lot of nice papers out there, but this is just my first foray into uh, 
a, a paper review, and I was again drawn to it by, I think the aesthetics of it, the simple look, the craftsmanship, the handmade nature of the, the tablet, uh, the fact that it's named typewriter or typewriting paper. There's a lot to be said for the, the quality of this and also the history of the company that goes all the way back to the late 1940s in Japan. So again, this was just a little uh, review of the Life typewriting paper. It's expensive, yes, but it looks like it works pretty darn good. It, it, it doesn't have any bleed through on fountain pen and you, can't, you really can't even see through is uh, against a uh, an opaque surface if you're not backlighting it with with video lights you can't see hardly at all the writing whereas with the mead paper you definitely can so it's definitely a better quality paper just a little bit heavier and so that's it and i hope you guys consider finding some good quality typing paper for your writing activities along with the more thrifty kinds of paper that we generally use well until next time this is joe van cleve and have yourselves a great day